You'll notice in your Aspen iPad Getting Started folder, you have two text files. One is called Aspen iPad Getting Started Macros for some of the earlier tutorials. And we also have an Aspen Macro Master.txt file. This is the one that you're going to want to install for doing the multiple inputs and also uh, matrixing and outputs and page, uh, subpage setting, that type of thing. This is what you're going to want. So let me show you how to upload that very quickly. We'll go to the Start menu, All Programs, Electrosonics Aspen. We're not going to go to the Aspen Control Panel. We're going to go to Tools, Aspen Command Terminal. Now once that launches, what we're going to do is go to Connect, USB. It will see that we have an SPN 1624 and we're going to click OK. You may have another device. If it has four input channels, you should be just fine. Let's click OK. And now we want to upload the master macro file. Let me quickly show you what that looks like. It's simply a text file. It's opened up in Notepad. And this contains all of the macros that are executed. And they're completely editable. And in another tutorial, we'll explain how the whole macro language works. And uh, you'll be able to edit everything right within Notepad and up upload remotely if you like as well. So let's upload that file to the box. Now that we're connected to the SPN 1624, let's go to the File menu and we want to select Playback. And we're going to play back that text file. So I need to navigate to it. It's on the desktop, Aspen iPad Getting Started. And here's the Aspen Macro Master text file. Now let's click Open, and you'll notice every single one of those lines is now going in to the Aspen box. And we get not only the line, but whether it's, there's an OK or error. So far, everything has an OK after it. So let's just wait for that to load. Other useful information down at the bottom is the line number. There is, we're on currently line 200 and, and so on. This particular file has, a, I believe it's like 940 lines or so. And uh, once that's done, then the Aspen box will have all of that information uh, that you can go in and edit within the control panel or within this command terminal that we happen to be in. Um, other information, if you happen to have an SPN Trio, for instance, for this particular demo that has four inputs, uh, you can use the Trio, or you can use a 1612, or you can use a uh, 812 if you like. So it doesn't really matter which model that you have. It should work just fine for you as long as there's four inputs, since that's all we're affecting. Uh, also, if you have a 16i or a 32i, that would work as well, since we're not affecting any outputs. Now you'll notice that things are moving along quite nicely. Uh, other information, it shows our connection mode is USB. We can also connect to command terminal via IP, or we can also connect serially if we like. The device ID, it shows six, uh, SPN 1624, and it also shows the serial number of the device. Um, and finally, it shows here SPN 1624. In case we were, had other devices that we were connected to, we could go in between them just by selecting the tabs at top. Well, it shows all 923 lines is what we had are loaded in. So at that point, we go to File, Exit, and our macro file has been loaded, and we are ready to go.